Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Have a beautiful day going on here today, catching good sun. But as you can see, I turned my back on the jungle for a minute, and it is just starting to get tall enough to shade some of my lower string panels there. So I'll have to get out there uh, here pretty quick and cut that down. It only takes a minute, like Jack and the Beanstalk out here. So you're still thinking about going solar and you just don't know where to start. And I'm gonna recommend if that's where you are, you start small. Right there is a 50 watt solar panel from Renogy. This is exactly how I started, although it wasn't with a Renogy panel. I'm not even sure they were around when I started solar, but I started with a 50 watt solar panel and one 12 volt, 100 amp hour lead acid battery. And of course now uh, we've all made the switch over, hopefully to lithium iron phosphate. And these are a couple of uh, nice smaller additions to think about. So this is a great place to start. Just takes a few components like right here and you're up and running and supplementing your power with solar. All the new solar panels now uh, come with these MC4 connectors, makes it very easy. Take the positive off the solar panel, plug it into the positive of your uh, solar panel extension cables, whatever length you need to make it work for you. These are 50 foot cables. So, and same thing on the negative side, just simply a plug and play right there. They just snap together and unsnap very easily. So there you go, from your solar panel, plug in your cables. If you only need 20 feet to get out into the sun with your panel, then you only need a 20 foot set of extension cables. I like these 50 footers, it gives me a little more versatility. And, but when I originally started, I was not making more than about a 20 foot run from my 50 foot, from my 50 watt solar panel down to the battery. And then from here, you'll go into your charge controller. Okay, you've got your solar panel plugged in to your extension cables. And from there, you go to the ends of those to your charge controller. And on the charge controller, you can see there is a PV, and that's for your solar panels. And there's a negative and a positive. And you can see that's where you would insert the ends to each of those leads. Very simple. Insert that into the negative and of course the positive into the positive. And then, you know, screw it down nice and tight. And now you've got the charge controller hooked up. So from the solar panel to the cables to the charge controller. Very, very easy. And then next you can see your battery connections, positive, negative. Cut your own wire from the length that you need to run from that part of the charge controller to your battery. Simply strip the ends there, put them into their appropriate slots, red for positive, black for negative. Try and keep this run as short as possible, but you can run this, you know, what you need it to be to get from where you mount this to your battery. Now you've gone from the charge controller to the battery. This takes care of everything maintaining your battery. It's all pre-programmed. There are a couple of uh, different parameters you can set in there for your needs but you can simply on this type of controller set it for lithium iron phosphate and it takes all the worry out for you and it will charge the battery as it needs to be charged. So now you've got your solar panels hooked up to where they need to be. They're not in on this, but there's your positive, negative over there and they would be in there. And now to the battery, same thing, 
positive and negative. Cut however long of a wire you need. You might need to get some of these uh, copper terminals here to fit onto your battery, and that's easy enough. And then you would just uh, strip the end here as much as you need to fit into here. Crimp that down nice and tight, of course. And now, same thing, of course, on the positive. And now you've gone from the charge controller to the battery. So there you go. So now you're up and running. You've got your solar panel, 50 watt charge controller, battery. Now this battery can charge and charge safely. Now let's tie up some power so you can drain this battery to your needs. So we'll retrace our steps from the solar panel to the charge controller, from the charge controller to the battery, and now a way to discharge this battery. And to keep it simple, we're just gonna use a very simple 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now here we've got the positive and negative. They will go on to the battery. You can place it on top underneath the bolt on top of the leads coming off from the charge controller. Just like that. It has a very simple cigarette lighter socket, as does this inverter. Simply plug that into there. Once your leads are attached and you're up and running. And that's it. And this particular a uh, set of leads has a little inline fuse, so in case there is ever a, you know, a, a surge that this thing couldn't handle or whatever, you're protected. That thing will pop. It's just one of those little bus fuses in there. So very simple. Now that we're talking very, very simple to get you up and running. This is very similar to what my very first system was. Although I didn't have as sophisticated of a charge controller, certainly didn't have lithium iron phosphate, but I didn't. I ran, my first inverter was a 250 watt uh, inverter, modified sine wave inverter. And this thing's only about 50 bucks too. So a very, very cheap, cheap way to get yourself started. The only tools I needed to do this project a small screwdriver to attach those leads into the charge controller, a pair of little wire cutters, a little wire stripper, and a crimper for those copper lugs. So that's it. Now you're up and running. Very, very simple. From the panel to the cables, to, from the cables into your PV side of your charge controller. From the battery side to the battery. From the inverter, positive and negative still. Now I haven't crimped these, of course, but it works for the demonstration. And there you go. Now you can turn the inverter on and you can run on this particular setup that we did today up to 300 watts. So you're sitting out on your porch You've got your solar working, your battery's full, and you can watch TV, you can listen to the radio, you can bring in your little uh, portable devices to be charged up. You're good to go. And now that you've got your very first small system up and running, uh, don't blame me if in your dreams you start having images like this, thinking just what more can I do with solar? <laughs> All right, because that will happen, my friends. Uh, once you have your first battery producing power and it's running a few things, you will start thinking of other things. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. And for some of you that were sitting uh, on the fence, always thinking, yeah, I should try a little solar system. Hope that just gives you an idea how quick and easy it is. As long as this video was, is about how long it takes to get yourself up and running with a small system. All right, take care, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha.